number nine large, a number six with extra dip, two number 45s, and a large soap. Yes, my lord. What's going on guys, it's Dealer here back again with yet another video. Hope everybody had a fantastic holiday, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you want to call it, whatever you celebrate, hope it went well. So today guys, we're talking about something that is quite literally a game changer in the console space. We've talked about similar things before, we've talked about this subject before, but of course Microsoft had actually made a new announcement on one of their websites, quickly retracted that, pulled that information from the website, and you know what, a lot of people are worried about this, they're paranoid about this, I figured I'd talk about it. Thank you for joining me, enjoy the 4K 60 frames per second gameplay as we get into the topic at hand. So, mouse and keyboard has officially been announced for the Xbox One X, once again, this time on one of Microsoft's Polish websites, and I know what you're thinking, mouse and keyboard, I do not want to hear about that. Well, you know what, I'm with you there, but of course, bear with me, because this could affect everybody on the Xbox platform, and maybe even soon to be the PlayStation platform. Now I say all of that because if mouse and keyboard is widely adopted on the Xbox platform, of course Sony are looking at this, Sony are looking to see how this is going to go on competing consoles, and they may implement similar systems on their system as well. Now, as I said, one of Microsoft's websites, particularly Microsoft Poland, did actually come out, announce this, say it's actually ready for players, and they actually came out with a small press statement regarding mouse and keyboard on the Xbox One X, available for games and, of course, applications. They did say all of this on their website, and I'm going to read you what is a rough translation, thanks to, of course, something like Google Translate, uh, of their announcement. It's pretty funny, it's got a little bit of satire in there, but, of course, at the end of the Day, it's just marketing. So Microsoft Poland's official announcement goes as follows. Some players prefer to conquer the virtual world with a pad in hand. Others, above all, value the precision of the mouse movements. Of course, remember this is a rough translation. Uh, others, however, cannot imagine playing on anything other than a keyboard. Now, owners of the Xbox One consoles, parentheses, including Xbox One S models and the latest Xbox One X, can choose these accessories and decide for themselves what they will use. And of course, they go into some kind of satirical, funny type stuff, uh, parentheses, PC Master Race, thanks to the keyboard support, we can already successfully talk about Xbox Master Race. <laughs> so remember, a little bit of satire, uh, kind of funny, but of course for some, worrying. Now, as I said before, the reason that I'm even talking about this is because I feel like it's something that will definitely affect all of us, and it definitely already affects people on PC. Those on controller definitely are at a disadvantage from my personal experience, from what I've heard others say. Of course, you can do well in a lobby on PC with a controller, but it is not necessarily the most competitive lobby. Now there's an absolutely massive amount of people that are actually annoyed by the prospect of something like mouse and keyboard coming to platforms like Xbox and PlayStation, and I agree with that. I agree that it is a massive disadvantage to be up against somebody with mouse and keyboard if you are on a controller, and of course there's another side to this coin. Now most developers that have spoken on this basically say, hey, we'll implement lobbies and filtering systems to where, hey, you only have to compete against people with controllers, you don't have to compete against mouse and keyboard people unless you wish to do so. And hey, that's not a big deal. If they do that, and there's a way that we know there are no mouse and keyboard people in the controller lobby, if the controller lobby is for controllers only, I actually think that's a pretty good solution, though it will divide the community a bit. Others will say, hey, you're already at a disadvantage in multiple ways on console. Then they'll cite the third-party mouse and keyboard device that you can already use on Xbox. But the amount of people that have access to that have purchased some kind of third-party workaround mod kit for a mouse and keyboard on Xbox One right now today is less, well under 1%, I would imagine. So those people are extremely rare. And when somebody officially endorses and embraces mouse and keyboard like Microsoft are preparing to do, they open the doors for a lot of people to say, hey, let me plug this in 
uh, to my Xbox. Let me unplug it from my PC, let me plug it into my Xbox, and let's see what we can do. And that's where things get a little more hectic. So, of course, yes, there are several disadvantages, headphones, latency through internet, your TV's input lag, some people aren't even in game mode, that's several, several, several milliseconds of input lag they put on themselves. There are so many disadvantages and advantages in current console gaming, but even still, I consider mouse and keyboard to be too big of one to not regulate in some way, to not implement some kind of separate filter system, to not implement some new lobby system for those people, of course, uh, on every single game that supports it. That's just my opinion. And like I said, guys, I just wanted to talk about this because this is something that could affect all console players on all platforms very soon. Microsoft, for better or for worse, are leading the charge on this. It'll be very interesting to see how they balance this. They, they balance the lobbies, developers segregating communities between controller, and mouse, and keyboard without really diminishing the player counts in either lobby too much. There's a lot of variables here, and it'll be very interesting to see how they implement this and how smartly they do so. But until they do, all we can do is speculate so let me know what you guys think down below are you excited for this are you going to use it are you looking to play against somebody with mouse and keyboard test your strength as a controller guy let me know down below of course hit that like button it always helps share the video and subscribe for this kind of stuff for those on patreon we got a massive amount of giveaways coming up uh thank you guys so much for your continued support we got more rdx guests coming on and we got games like assassin's creed star wars battlefront 2 wolfenstein 2 cuphead batman return to arkham witcher 3 complete edition uh uh, just to name some that are being given out here soon on Patreon. So, of course, consider becoming a patron today for as little as a buck a month. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get better and bigger giveaways out there. Until then, guys, hit that like button. I'm Dealer. I'm out.